Here we need to evaluate an improper integral. Why is this integral improper? Well, notice that the denominator, x plus 2, is equal to 0 when x is equal to negative 2. And negative 2 is the left boundary of our integral. So that's a sign that we have an improper integral. How do we handle something like this? Well, let's start by recopying it. The trick here, of course, is to replace this as the limit as t goes to negative 2 from the right of the integral from t to 14 of 1 over the root of x plus 2. So just quickly, we know that negative 2 is here. A little bit to the right of it, let's say we take the number t. And this function here is perfectly defined for numbers that are bigger than negative 2, right? The only problem occurs at negative 2 and smaller. So this integral here is perfectly defined. It's, uh, uh, there's no issues at all. And the definition of the improper integral is the value of the limit of these nice integrals. OK, so let's handle this. Uh, this limit sign is just going to be carried along with us. And we're going to start working on this integral. Don't get scared of the t down here. It's just uh, think of it just as a number. Uh, 1 over root x plus 2, I think we should replace that as x plus 2 to the minus 1 half. That'll make it easier to do the integral. Again, we're just recopying our limit. And this integral is easy. We can go right to the antiderivative. Um, x plus 2. If it's x plus 2 to the minus 1 half, this power is going to have to be 1 larger than minus 1 half. Minus 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half. And when I do the derivative of this, this 1 half comes to the front. But notice there's nothing there. So I need some way to cancel off this 1 half that comes to the front. And if I put a 2 there, that'll accomplish that. All right, good. Now we're coming along. Why don't we see what this turns out to be? I, I kind of want to change back to the root symbol. I'll just do that quickly before we evaluate it. All right, so let's evaluate these brackets now. We're going to put in 14 and then subtract off what we get when we put in t. So let's see. 2. When I put in 14 here, 14 plus 2 is 16. Root 16 is 4. So that's nice. I actually don't even need this bracket. And then minus. I'll put t in here now. So 2 root t plus 2. Maybe I will put those brackets there. And this is a nice limit. Uh, this, is, this function, uh, this limit can be evaluated simply by replacing t by negative 2. Uh, 2 times 4 is 8. Notice I dropped a limit sign now, right? Uh, all through these previous steps, I kept my limit sign. And that's because I had not evaluated it yet. But in this step, I am now evalu evaluating the limit, which is the only time you're really allowed to stop writing it. If you don't write it all along here, it's actually sloppy. And uh, it's not good style. So I'm evaluating my limit. So now I can stop writing that limit symbol. The negative 2 goes in replace of t. And obviously, that's just 0. Uh, root minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Root 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. So we have 8 minus 0. And the answer is 8. So the integral actually converges. The improper integral converges. And the value is equal to 8. And that's the answer for this one.